Thank you indeed. Well, we take a technical turn now. Worldwide, our urban spaces are becoming increasingly cramped and inefficient with the United Nations estimating that by 2030, 70% of the world's population will be living in our global cities. Now, in light of this, specialists are urging that the time has come to begin outlining more ingenious urban situations and future city concepts. So we spoke to a few experts to shed some light on the subject. With more than half of South Africa's population being urban dwellers, it's architects and designers who will play a key role in shaping our future cities and finding long-term sustainable solutions. The future city is not going to look very nice from my point of view in the global south. I think it's going to be Hollywood and a lot of slum. The reason I say that is that these cities are going to expand exponentially over the next few decades. And it is said that in Africa, over 70% of people will be living informally in cities. So the future city really is an informal city. Our cities have to respond to what the rest of the, of the world is doing in terms of turning them into smart cities that are able to respond positively to the needs of their residents and communities. Fittingly, the South African Institute of Architects hosts the Architecture ZA 2015 conference in September with theme Future City. Smart cities around the world, like Amsterdam and Dubai, are providing practical examples which are being followed by developing nations. When you look around the globe, South America has had a number of cities in Brazil, even Mexico City is one of those that are known to have really moved in terms of the smart uh, innovation. I mean, when you come to Africa, of course, you look at examples from Rwanda, you look at Kigali. The city has got a fair, reliable transport system. Uh, if you go to Seoul, for instance, you realize that it's probably one of the most wired cities uh, in the world. Johannesburg is a unique example of an evolving future city, having responded to a troubled political past and working to keep up with development of other major cities. Johannesburg's inner city is, is a highly diverse community. And so there's a business community, there's a community of traders, the community of commuters. So actually most of the projects we have to respond to need to really understand the needs of these communities. There are many innovative concepts that are being rolled out and tested in South Africa now. For instance, the BRT, which is the best rapid transit system, is an incredibly important tool to reconnect segregated areas of the city that have been planned to be separate through apartheid and to reconnect these through affordable public transport. And around the BRT routes, there are also plans to develop affordable housing, business opportunities. Another really innovative strategy which is being implemented by the Department of Human Settlements is to look at the upgrading of informal settlements. What's really exciting about this is that it is actually a massive shift in thinking about housing. And it's saying, let's acknowledge the fact that people have built their own houses, their own communities, and let's implement incrementally services, sanitation, roads, as well as tenure. Future cities will also need to be adaptable with buildings and spaces that can overcome challenges such as climate change and population growth. In order to make cities more future-proof, it really requires to build in a certain flexibility. We need to actually factor time and changing conditions in how we plan. So that would, for example, mean that a building has to be laid out in a way that its function could change or that uh, certain spaces could have multiple uses. We can't keep on sprawling. We actually need to densify our cities because denser cities are just simply smarter cities. We are probably one of the few countries that have got a national development plan that looks in the long term. I think that's a very positive sign that if we continue at this pace, we may be able in a short time to realize some of our key objectives. With so many projects and innovation in place for the years to come, the prospect of our future cities is exciting. 